editor's note. Bone saw. <laughs> Bone saw. There is editor's no other note. note. Um. <laughs> My dude is just unconscious. Oh, I know. He's zooted. Oh, oh god, god, he's, he's just, just slumped. slumped. <laughs> Poor, Poor lad. lad. He did his Can best. we tally this as Alex gets wrecked? Yeah, he does. Look at that with the sure. That's totally an Alex gets bodied count. Tally it. And he rises like a phoenix. It's not gonna happen. He doesn't rise. He might sleep talk, which would be great because his mic's on. <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. Why are you running through the oh, bit that God. aggroes all the rats? Because, shut up. That's why. Did you ever think about that? Mom always hated you most. She hates both of us. Yeah. Well, hell about that. What is that from? Metalocalypse. It sounded like Toki. When Squish Guard yeah. Toki tried to do stand up. Damn. I'm already like fucked up. Yeah, because you keep running to where the enemies aggro. I've seen you do it. Repeatedly. Well, you know, and you better fist that. That's just like sweet pig your asshole. Your opinion, man. Go, go, I'm gonna fist that. They're not worth it, man. Maybe they'll give me a healthy. It actually might. As long as you don't get grabbed. Part of me deep down ah, thought about ordering a tried pizza. Tried to barf on me. Just like I don't want to do that to my body. Damn. Oh, dude, the like muck people are freaky. Oh, shout out! That's what we should name our band: Muck what? People. Muck People. I'd be okay with that. Muck People. Yeah, Muck People. Like, we'll, we'll tell it. We'll tell them what we've decided. Twenty <laughs> guys um, wants to hit this. He won't be. I don't care, it's too, too... Uh, too shout out to my favorite actor, Anything Hopkins. <laughs> Anything Hopkins. There's a really good video of him jamming out to metal music that you gotta see. Dude, all the coolest old people are the ones that listen to, like, progressive rock. Yeah, yeah. he's, like, rocking out to some fucking power metal. Dude, oh, I didn't tell you guys. Shout out to Arion, my, my favorite solo artist. Like, it's technically a band that this dude just runs by himself, like Nine Inch Nails. Oh, so I was he about just has other like people Len play it. But, like, he just makes these, like, full album operas every time. And just has, like, fuck tons of, like, guest performers from the entire pro progressive rock and power metal community. That's pretty cool. Don't just like, hey, I need a character that sounds like this. this. Do you mind lending your voice? And they're like, yeah, I'll be on an Arion CD. That's pretty cool. Uh, for those of you listening, uh, listen to... Fuck. I don't even remember the album name. But it's... But fun fact. Give me a health. Don't fall down. Every progressive concept album is about a dude... Yes! Is about a dude retreating into his own mind and like kind of getting over some shit. Pretty much. All of them. Pretty much. That's cool. The Wall. The one I'm talking about by Arion. Uh, that Genty album I showed you earlier. Uh, what about uh, fucking King Crimson? What their shit? I don't. I don't know if any of their. I have, have like, one of their records, and I wouldn't consider it a concept album. Yeah. And it's in the Court of the Crimson King. That's it's a super good progressive album, but I wouldn't consider it a classic. concept album. I met some uh, met some dude named Jimmy, who grew mushrooms and loved progressive rock. Really cool guy. It's so weird. The progressive rock, um, how community I guess of bands has super changed, because a lot of the newcomers are due to like. Like Joe Rogan and Smoke DMT. <laughs> no, they're like they they were like teenagers who just like making like fucking music. Fucking yeah. 
And so they started in like metalcore, like, oh, no. or like between the Barrett and me and shit. Wait, what's the what's the name? Between the Barrett and me. I've not even heard of them. That sounds cool. I've met their guitar player. But like you know, like they used to be like just kind of like heavy hardcore pop punk shit, and then they just went nah. Let's get weird with it. That's pretty really? dope. The first album I think I have by them is just all instrumental, and it's like really progressive. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. It might not be instrumental, I'm not Apology sure. Apology if I'm talking out my ass, everyone. Um, shout out to Between the Buried and Me. Yeah, they're super cool. Everyone listen to Parallax 2 and Colors, two of the best albums I've ever heard. Um, they just know how to make songs go together, I guess. Ah, motherfucker! Motherfucker, no! Um... Kid A is a good concept album. Yo! I mean, like, also OK Computer, but, I'll you know, I'm just more of a Kid A kind of person. I'm with that. I have an uh, OK Computer poster in my room. That's, I have, I have like Kid A on vinyl. It's good shit. It's awesome. You should listen to it. I also have a Bill Nye the Science Guy poster that someone stole from a public library. Yo, Bill, talk Bill, about Bill. how this man's hand always <laughs> finds his way into his pants when he is asleep. <laughs> I don't understand. Without fail. Oh no. How did you get stuck here, you yeah. fucking dork? I just got caught on the doggos. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it just happens. Don't you give like me that, that discouraging awkward. look, fucking I dad. Mm. I like that awkward moment where I just like glided past him. Hey, bacon. Yeah. You should get me a water. I would love them forever. I was actually I thinking about going up to uh, grab some. I I'd, I'd take one. one too. Yeah, sure. I got you guys. You're the best. I can't feel You're my here. body. Let me take a hit of the bowl after you, and then I'll go grab it. Yeah. Um. Like, even, like, shit like Gojira and stuff started out as just, like... Gojira is, like, very ambient to me. It is. That's why I like it a lot, actually. Oh, oh shit. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're alive. He lives. They live. We sleep. I was about to say, they live is a good movie. Um, I just down. found out the other day that there's a whole Rowdy Rodder... Rowdy Roddy Piper? <laughs> there, thank you. Piper, um, fight scene in Saints Row, like they reenact that whole they live fight scene in the game. That's really funny. Well, um, I've played every Saints Row, which game? Which one is Rowdy Roddy Piper in? He's not in Saints Row, what the fuck are you talking he about? He definitely is, I'm about to Google it. I, you're probably My right, dude. Almost dead. They've got- I can't Google it. I'm about to, uh, I'll do it. They do have a shitload of cameos. But like, I'm, I'm really 100% sure it's Saints Row because the, what's the, the guy's, the other dude's name? He, he voices oh, Keith, the vice principal in Rick and Morty too. Keith David. Or, yeah, Keith David. One time I Googled him um, and- He's the uh, vice president in Saints Row. Yeah, the mayor of Stewport oh, I, was- Burt That's gotta Reynolds. be four then. I think it is four. But like, there's that, they reenact that whole Keith David, Roddy Piper fight scene in that game. That's pretty sweet. Dude, that's, it's easily one of my favorite movies, honestly. Just cause, um, <laughs> just cause, um, <laughs> shout out to, uh, shout out to John Carpenter, everyone. I've never seen Assault on Precinct 13, but I heard it's great. Um, he's also the fucking maniac and Always Sunny. Oh yeah, Rowdy Roddy Piper, not John Carpenter. Who's one of my favorite characters in that show for sure? The maniac. I love the maniac. Oh, did someone? Um, you remind me right. of my kids. You got kids? Nah. I was just talking about that scene to someone. I love it. Um, it might have been me. Like, what does that mean? All right. Secret guys. Um, after the sewers, or there's a. We'll come back to that. Um. But basically, this window's blocked. You want to go now it's not. to the right. There's yet another blocked window, and my favorite British lady is here. Oh, out of yeah. every British lady ever, listen to how she says "hunter." A hunter. A hunter. A hunter. I think that accent's hot. In the outside, 
you know that out there. who my favorite British lady is? She gives you the fucking best item in the game. Yeah, that's cool. Go back to um, the Hunter's Dream without losing your shit. She also gives you Shake Off Kate. Shake it off. Shake it off. Yo, who wants the ball? I want the ball. Okay. You're a saint. So. There's a lot of things we gotta do. Oh, shit! You're dead. Oh, Liv's all dead. No, we're good. No! Now I'm dead. We're good. Good recovery. Fuck, that sucks too because um I needed to get an item. I feel like if this is a scary movie, this is the part where I totally get got. My you god, I can still oh. hear you. So like I was saying, um that what I just picked up Madman's knowledge is like the consumable thing that gives you um insight. So like if you need insight, you can use all those items because they don't go away when you die. Uh, insight doesn't go away either because it's really fucking hard to get. So, so yeah. you know, you guys know Pete Holmes? Yeah. He, he just, just came out of with the a Pete Holmes show. Yes. Okay. Of Pete Holmes show fame, or of Batman fame, <sighs> fucking best sketch right. ever. Harvey Dent. Uh, I forgot that he was in that. He's fucking Batman. It's great. Yeah. Flip fifty coins. Fifty more coins. And then my computer will analyze it. Science. So, he did a bit in his brand new um, stand up stand up thing where he's like So like if I pretended to be like a black guy up on stage, it'd be pretty fucked up, right? But like why is it then that I can do an imitation of like every Italian person and like that's fine? And then he goes like molto bene e prego break oh like my shit God. like that and ever since he said that i'm like yo he's right yeah next, next time, time racist italians <laughs>